guys this is Mahesh Mahesh Karya you're watching me on YouTube live this is my very first video on .NET code with MongoDB uh, I'm gonna take you through Swagger implementation so let's dive into it first of all you have to go to Chrome or your browser simply type for .NET Co and uh, you will get your package here at .NET.Microsoft.com inside download section you will you can grab your package like for windows linux i'm currently using on mac so you can download this from here after installation open your terminal or command prompt uh, simply type dot net hyphen hyphen version you will get your current sdk version currently i'm using dot net go 3.1.3 in future you might be working on dot net 4 5 uh, but the code will be the same maybe uh, after that you have to create a new folder here and name it whatever it may be uh, like i'm going to name it swagger after that open your terminal or uh, your vim editor your visual studio, uh, studio code editor atom whatever it may be this is i'm going to use this code uh, you can download this from code.visualstudio.com so uh, visual studio code grab this from here for your system this is very lightweight after drag and drop open your integrated terminal inside your visual studio code and simply type on dot net new then you will get all the list of templates that are available inside your system that comes with uh, dot net core installation so there is no need to um, do anything okay uh, dot net new api i'm going to create a api with mongodb connection so i have to install few packages for that it will take some time maybe so for now i'm i'm going to use grab few packages from dot net dot org and uh, search for swash buckle swash dot asp net core and you will get this package over here current version is 5.4.1 okay uh, you can copy this thing otherwise you can type this thing or like type let's see this is better dot net add package slash bugger dot asp net code hyphen hyphen version you have to define this version you it's all up to you uh, then simply put this package into your dependencies after that you can use this command to run your project .NET run if you are a node familiar uh, with familiar with node.js you you must be heard about node bond so this, you can use like .NET watch run so there is no need to restart the uh, server on each uh, updation after that go to your localhost colon 5000 or 5001 i'm going to use 5000 so after that okay this is 5001 slash uh, weather forecast so you get this thing here and after installation of slash buckle i have to go to startup inside that i have to define using something using uh, what microsoft.openapi.models and using uh, system swagger no swash buckle dot asp net code that's it for now i have to change my font size so it will be better for you to grab this easily okay swash button now inside here you can define this thing services dot uh, add swagger sorry swagger gen add Swagger gen and define your object here like c dot swagger doc and here you need to define 
two more parameters and first one will be your version I guess and next one is your TPA that's right uh, after that I made some mistake I don't know this is something else We, we we can do this like uh, you can uh, refer this thing getting started with slash worker uh, here docs.microsoft.com you can get your code here all the process of installation of slash worker you can grab this from here so this thing new open api info i have to find this here sorry open api info and inside here you can define your version our version is v1 and your title i guess my title is api that's it for now inside your configuration app dot use swagger use swagger And next one is app dot use swagger UI. Again, you have to define here object C dot um what this is swagger endpoint. I have to define my swagger endpoint swagger v1 swagger dot JSON. And next thing is uh. API. That's it for now. After that, you can you can check this here. I don't know why this is taking so much of time. Uh, simply write Swagger, and you will get this thing here. Like, uh, click on try it out, execute this thing, and this is. All the thing okay after that I am going to create a MongoDB you can leave it if you if you want to work with swagger this is the process of implementing swagger now I'm going to uh, work with MongoDB on cloud if you want to install MongoDB on your client side your uh, for your system you can but I'm going to use this from here right free and uh, my company name this just demo you will uh, you will get this link in my description uh, of that mongodb connection string so you don't need to install mongodb or do sign up it's all up to you swagger uh, swagger api swagger api swagger api you might be wondering that why this is accepting uh, anything uh, this might be bug I guess maybe bug this is okay it's fine getting started swagger123 password is you can use it this is for testing only okay don't use it for your official use of course you know that now after it will take some time so I'm moving from back and forth so we'll do installation of mongodb here like uh, .net add package p a c k a g e from mongodb dot driver you can define version if you want to like 5.4.1 i guess current version is now mongodb dot driver enter and it will okay uh, now here inside here i have to create cluster create cluster again okay it will take time okay now it will take more time so for now i am going for another process here now we are creating the user schema so you can delete these two things from here and delete this thing from to trash inside controller i am going to create user controller dot cs after that create models 
uh, create more services inside models I need to create a user dot cs inside services create user service dot cs inside controller you have to create the user controller dot cs okay sorry inside models ah, I have done this so now inside model create namespace uh, swagger dot uh, models and create your class here public class is user and uh, create this thing prop string you might be wondering why I am getting this suggestions you can install these packages like C sharp and .NET core essentials for your system I already have it that's why I am getting these suggestions ok guys so then you will get this suggestion like these things new classes and all so it's all up to you if you want to otherwise it's good uh, create again prop tab string on uh, name prop tab string email prop tab string uh, password that's it for now yeah that's it for now uh, now you have to import this mongodb dot bsun and mongodb dot bsun dot serialization dot attributes so I have to define annotations over here like bsun id bsun id for that bsun element for all of this bsun element again bsun element and that's it for now after that for that you have to define bsun representation should be of bsun type dot object id that's it for now after that we done with this okay after that go to your services use that model here swagger dot model and i need to import few more packages like system dot collections dot sorry I don't know why I'm getting collections dot generic and using uh, another packages uh, of course my sorry mongodb dot driver that's it for now create your namespace and a uh, swagger dot services and here I have to create my class public class swagger user service and here i can define my arm mongo collection ah, using microsoft dot extensions dot configuration i need to define this string here so for now i have to grab this uh, string from here so go to connect add your ip address if you are working with the static ip address then you can put this here otherwise you can use this use 0 .0 0.0.0.0 add this IP address create user swagger uh, it's w -A -W -G, uh, swagger123 you can use it you can pick this thing from my description uh, connect choose your package is driver current version and copy this thing from here and you have to go to your app settings and simply define your connection strings connection strings over here strings not string okay db is this that's it now you have to put your password here like this swagger123 that's it for now you can close this and now inside user service you can create private read only 
no 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 sorry sorry I have to create constructor first and I configuration I configuration config configuration uh, here uh, private read only uh, I mongo collection pattern is of type user users and inside here I have to services of oh, that my client is create your connection string connection here mongo client and inside mongo client configuration dot fetch that connection string here and name of that connection string is db inside application stop json that will generally use database equal to client dot get database define your name of your database you can use whatever it may be for the first time now users is equal to database dot get collection and collection name is my collection and after that you have to define type of your uh, this is user now I, I can create my method so here like public and method name is uh, which will return actually what it will return list of user okay but to name this thing here and after that I can uh, do this users dot find that uh, user so which is true I have to convert this thing into list because we are returning the list next thing is public which will return user so you can get that particular user with that particular ID and after that you have to find that particular user find that particular user from user so find that user from here you have to check this ID which is capital ID equal to incoming ID that is small ID you have to re return that uh, response first or default it should be small it should be small and after that first or default I'm making some mistake I know I have to check this this is of time string uh, dot first or default that's it for now now the next thing is public return type again user we are going to post user of type user user and inside users we can insert one user or main user it's all up to you and name of user is user then after that I have to remove this arrow operator from here because we are going to use two or more statements on that particular user you can return this here after that you can use public return type again user method is put user and you can pass this string here of id and your user new user that's it for now uh, you can return this new user that you just updated into database uh, here you can do this users dot replace one and here you can pass this id and this new user i know this is not a proper method but this is very beginner friendly video so you have to do it on your own like if id is not present here then do this do this password encrypted method hash codes all the stuff you can do this now after that i have to do something like 
public Great and type again user delete user which which will delete that particular user I have to pass this ID over here after that first of all I have to find that user and which is available inside my users so I have to find this the name is user and that user wait 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 uh, that user dot id is equal to id so dot first or default I have to return this user in meanwhile I can do this thing like to delete that user from here delete one okay here if that users id is available here you can delete this again here you have to do something like user user dot capital i small b is equal to this then you can do this that's it for now now you can go to your controller here you can grab this thing uh, using swagger dot models and use using swagger dot your services after that namespace will be swagger dot uh, controller now I have to do something like public uh, class user controller user controller but before that I have to grab this package microsoft.asp.net.com dot mdc so I can use this thing like API controller this is already available in template no need to do this but I'm going to do this from scratch uh, you can pass the controller here after that inside here I have to define that private user service is user service and constructor inside constructor I have create I have to pass this user service this is very I don't like this dependency but I used to work on node Python that's why but user service sorry user service is equal to user service that's it for now uh, now we can create our methods like public uh, action result will return the list of user user name is same as get users then user service dot get users get users that's it for now I don't know I made some mistakes I always do mistakes I know but uh, I don't know if I I action result will return list of is I have to see that what the mistakes system dot collection using system dot collection dot generic you can import this then next thing is public action research and you can type is only user single user um, get that particular user with uh, that particular ID and pass this particular ID here inside user service drop now what get user single user pass this ID here after that again public action research and which will return single user and you have to post that user with object of user user service dot post user pass your user here again public uh, 
action results which will return single user put user again pass user with id first parameter is id of string id after that you have to do this user services dot put user pass your id and pass your user <clears throat> after that I, I made some mistake user it should be user now it's working now public action result which will return type of user delete user pass your id here string id and user service dot delete that particular user with that particular id from here i have to define something like method annotations http gate this one again this is http gate this is my http post this is my http put put and this is my http delete okay i have to define that id of length length is 24 the standard or uh, length of your no id of mongodb is 24 so for delete we need this thing for put and for getting that single single user i need this okay that's it for now guys now you can run this profit watch run i'll get few errors maybe i don't know i always used to get errors for the first time so everything is good i don't know I'm, if i made some mistakes okay now here you can check this okay get user you don't need to use postman you can just try this out execute this thing and here i'm getting error as i expected user service while attempting unable to resolve Swagger dot. I don't know. I have to see that. Okay, 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 okay. Inside startup, I have to do this using uh, that uh, particular package like uh, Swagger dot services, and I have to use this here. services dot add scope user service that's it try this out execute this thing you will get empty error um, empty array okay this thing so get single user try this out name it I don't use this password generally that's why okay now inside here you can check this okay it's working and now I have to 
grab this ID and check this if this is working put this here grab the single user yes I am getting that single user now again I have to grab this 